Watch the branches. Put it on that tree, bro. Put it on that tree. Go, go. I got the tree. Put it up on that tree, doggy. Where's she at? She's right up there somewhere. Well, watch that cliff over there. That cliff over there? Oh, shoot. How are we going to get over there? Get your flashlight. Oh, she's across? Thank you very much. Oh. Piece of shit. Oh, no. Man, it must have been on because I charged him. Anybody see anything up there? Spotlight, Dave. Nope. I don't know where it's at. I'm trying to find it. Oh, Lord. I might as well walk around. Yeah. Oh, well, you guys might as well go down that way. Huh? I'm coming back up. Hold on, Dave. Mostly video only now because I can't see where I'm going. So, These guys all left me here without any lights. These guys are the most prepared coon hunters I ever hunted with. Got all the necessary equipment. Mark's got a. Oh man, I saw. Mark's got the best coat that money will buy. We had to throw away one of the big spotlights. It was dead. Only thing ready is the dog. We had to go around a gully here. Got a false report of where this dog was at, so we had to make quite a, quite a detour. I think we're getting closer now. We're having an argument over who's going to do the shooting. We ain't even seen it. I think it's a dead and den tree, and we're everybody's arguing who's going to sh shoot it. I don't think we're going to be able to see it anyhow because nobody's got a light powerful enough to reach up there. Okay. Anybody see anything? effects by Mark and Dave, I think. Well, 
lot of barking dogs and screeching humans trying to. Somebody else's dog. Go in a truck, you're going to get pneumonia out here without a coat on. It's about 20 degrees, and there he's standing without a coat. Once we get out in the field. I'll take a walk out in the field and see if anything's looking at me. Did you? On the road. They were out eating, probably. Come on. Huh? That's a big hole right there. Yeah. Yeah, you hit the corner of that pretty good there. Where, where's the... Good luck with it. Alright. But it's right over in there. Dave finally found a light that worked a little better. Mark is out there without a coat on and it's at least 20 degrees with a wind chair chill of probably minus 30. He's got a cold and a fever. Uh, Dave's going to go with the bigger light and he's going to let me know if he sees anything out there and if he does then I'll go go in there. I don't know if you can see way over there, the other side of that ridge over there is where they're at. Josie I think is, there she is again now. So he's up there searching now. And my hands are so cold they're freezing. I'm going to pan the tree. I don't know if you can pick up any of that. I can't hardly see it, but maybe you can see it in the tree there. I think it's a den tree. I'm going to turn it off for a while. In the sky, it's a beautiful sky out. I don't know if that's going to pick up any Cloud and sky up there. For sure, pretty out. Okay, now I'm coming back down over there to where they're still searching. I don't hear them hollering meat, so there must not be none over there. So I'm going to shut her off again. Now, here they come. Back out of the woods again. We're going to get a first hand count of what's going on here in a minute. I didn't hear any guns going off in the woods, so they must not have got nothing. 